Hey guys, it's Tempi again and this week's been full jam-packed busy for me and Eltizar, who I'm joined with again. Yeah, very busy indeed. Yeah, we've been working every day, non well not non-stop, but every day. Uh, yesterday was fun, we did a three-way cast, uh, the Korean style, and we are following the, today uh, Flightman, which is a censored... Uh, Flyderman, which is a censored gaming uh, community member. On the blue team, we'll have Warwick, who is the censored gaming one uh, community member, Blood Fury Renekton, Blitzcrank Draven, and Leopard Needley. And the red team for this game will consist of Ezreal, Nunu, Talon, Blitzcrank, and Shaco. No skins on the red team. No Yordles on either one as well. Makes me sad. I keep, for I keep forgetting, is Nunu not is Nunu no, a Yordle? No, no, he's, no, he's, he's just, just a regular kid. I keep forgetting. I, I'm not. I don't. I haven't kept tooled up on the lore. I've got too much stuff to remember. True. Well, you are keeping up with the uh, skills, so that's I think the only thing that matters. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, Just looking at the matchups, it's likely to be set as oh, Nunu is actually running in the lane. This could be interesting. Probably the mid or top Nunu. Probably top, since Talon mm. is there as well. Nunu versus Renekton, it's going to be very high sustain lane, but Nunu's definitely going to have the poke advantage. Yes. However, being a mana based character, then he may end up losing out due to the fact that Renekton runs purely off Fury. Needle versus Talon mid, so this should be interesting. She will definitely outrange him with her spear ch chucks early game and then later on cougar form, but Talon is an assassin and we all know what happened the last time assassins were brought into play. Mm, yes indeed. <laughs> is that Mark laughing his head off? Oh, yes it is. Sorry. Do apologies for that, that is Eltizar's brother and apparently he finds us hilarious. I believe he's watching a YouTube video. I'm going yeah, to stick it's... with he finds us hilarious. We are pretty hilarious aren't we? Yes, yes we are, especially when we're trying to be that serious. <laughs> Bottom will be double the Blitzcrank, double the grab, with the AD, respected AD carries on the red team, Ezreal on the blue team, Draven. Mm. Ezreal versus Draven. Uh, could be nasty early on for Ezreal. Ezreal's actually started the Doran's ring. It does look like, actually yeah, it's an, it is an AP Ezreal. Very interesting. And Talon is still in the base, not buying anything. I'm going to assume he ah, hasn't. He oh no, there you go, he's got boots now. He... Just as I said it. Mind <laughs> merge. This is totally a thing. Yes. Evil, evil thing. It's not that funny, Nunu, new, new, calm down. Oh, by the way, the, the game after you left that my friends played versus hmm? the diamond team, or actually they only had two diamonds, and uh, season two platinum. <laughs> They lost. Sad face. Yeah, they lost and like no. It's because we'll. Uh, it's because Altazar is gone and they didn't have the third cheerleader. Um, they knew we weren't recording. Anyway, the game is on the way. Shaco taking blue. He did not use smite. Didn't really need it considering his boxes. Yep. Nunu being put in mid lane with Talon on top, actually. I don't think that's the wisest thing ever, actually. No. Renekton's... Assassins tend to lose out to bruisers, and Renekton is probably one of the strongest bruisers in the current meta. Nice grab from Blitzcrank catching Ezreal. I'm gonna call it Blue Crank. Blue Crank. Blue Team is Blue Crank. Blue Crank and... Will, Red, will we have to call him Red Crank as well? Because that, that's just that's kind of difficult to say. Or just normal blitz crank or cranky for red, blue crank for the blue team. Okay. Th that's my verdict, and I'm sticking to it. He's blue, double D, double die. He is blue. Even though he's yellow, but he's blue. Um, yeah, we were saying about Talon. T mm. Assassins do tend to lose to bruisers, and I think Nunu would have been a wiser choice on top because of his consume. Mm. That's the fact that, yeah, be able to keep up in sustain. 
Yeah, exactly. Would give him a slight edge or a slight advantage or just a fighting chance. Talon gets stunned. Ezreal gets picked again. Blue Crank gets picked. Gets two turret hits. Draven picks up his axe and continues last hitting. Shaker looks like he's going to try and get a gank in on top lane. Warwick more than content to just take his raids as Shaco goes in. Deceive has been used, Box goes down. Renekton is possibly going to fight this. No, he's going to get... Well, that was over before I could even say a thing. Yep, he will die due to that red buff and Talon's ignite. Uh, on mm. bottom, Blitzcrank, uh, Blue Crank only lost his flash. Everything else is still up. Nunu wasting flash and ignite in the middle, but I think it was a bit prematurely. I'm done. Well, Nidalee is down both her flash and ignite as well. Yeah, so they had a fight, but didn't amount to anything. Bottom lane being harassed by the blue team. Quite a lot. Who do you think will win mid lane? Considering that Nidalee has... Shaco going in. Yeah. Not much of use happening. Shaco eats a spear. However, Ezreal picks up Blue Crank. I'm assuming he must that standard Blitz must have landed a hook. Yeah. Warwick instead bush. But Talon is pushed to his turret, so nothing much happening there. I'm not sure if it's smart for Warwick to be there, especially since he's level 4 and we have... Shaco is heading him. across though, so Warwick might be able to get some good damage down. Yeah. Roxy Warwick is going to land the damage him. and due to blood scent he's not going to be able to utilize stealth properly, but Warwick not going to bother chasing and instead just going to steal some golems. Some free gold, that's always good. Wards being dropped in that bottom lane. Yes, Renekton's damage is actually quite low currently, I'm somewhat surprised by that. Well, he didn't immediately go for his usual um, items, the long swords or anything, um, or for the brutalizer. He went double rejuve beads, so I'm actually surprised. In, I'm guessing he's going to go for warmogs, early warmogs. Well, I suppose he could do that. He would be sacrificing a lot in terms of damage, but then again, Talon would not be able to really kill him if he did have one. Exactly, especially since Talon is that one level above. So silence goes off, break as well. Yeah. He jumps. Currently, a lot of damage going down, though. Talon doesn't have enough to use Shadow Assault. Shaco comes, comes across. Shaco. Box goes down. Don't think it's actually going to pop. No, but a lot of damage been dealt. Shaco takes a tower hit, decides to back away. Talon was smart that he didn't follow. He once Talon, he is level 6, I was about to say, once Talon hit level 6 and he pops it, um, things will get more sharper. Mm. More Knives flying everywhere. More edgier. Oh, I'm do I do apologize. This whole week has been a bad puns week for me. And for some reason I just can't help myself. Shaco's slightly in trouble as Needle sniffs him out with her trap, Talon recalling, and let's see if she can land a nice hit. No, nope, Shaco's playing smartly, hiding behind the raid. He smites the big raid, gets pounced by the cat, continues to chase, ignites him, one hit, picks up the kill. Nunu new now here though, this may mean that Nidalee is in a large amount of trouble, Ignite goes down, she jumps the other direction. It looks like she's going to make her escape perfectly well. Yeah, she's off to safety. He's Warwick as well, in case Nidalee needed help. Nidalee is sitting on 1500 gold, so when she goes back, she will be buying probably of the bad haunting geese. Mm, potentially, but currently Warwick's calling her across to blue buff. Yep. Talon got his Brutalizer complete already. Renekton's going to be taking a lot of poke damage now, but he is himself starting to deal a fair bit, fair bit of damage. Mm. It's weird how... It's interesting, not exactly weird, but it's intriguing how Renekton 
uh, in season three isn't any more um, early game to mid game champion. He's all game champion because of the new mm. items and the item builds that are coming across all over League of Legends for him. Not just on the competitive scene. Shadow, Shadow Assault goes down. Yo, Renek taking a lot of damage. He may be forced to use Dominus. There he goes. Ignite still burning. Knocks in diplomacy. Picks up the kill. That bonus damage. Very painful. Yep. Blitzcrank looks to be slightly caught out, but with Shaco's presence, misses the hook though. As Blue Crank hooks for Blitzcrank. Oh, that's a lot of damage coming from Ezreal's True Shot Barrage as well. In the mid lane, you may be in trouble. Dodges the spear. They continue to chase as Warwick is tanking the turret and they walk out. Mm. Slashed across the face by the kitty cat. That Q saved Warwick's life. Yeah, escapes with about 50 health as Shaco comes up towards mid lane. Nidley does have a trap there, but he decides to walk straight across it. <laughs> Crank misses the hook on bottom, and Shaco will pick up the kill. The good but use of flash there. Very good positioning allowed him. Pick up that kill with very little hassle. Mm -hmm. Renekton right, telling his teammates that Talon is in their jungle, walking around, but the jungle is empty by the wolves that just respawned. So he's gonna take that. Blitzcrank in bottom in trouble, is low on health and exhausted. As Ralph is the kill on Blue Crank, is ignited and in trouble himself. Could Draven pick up a double kill? His ultimate is still down. He uses his blood rush. Blood rush burnt. Still taking a lot of damage. He's, He's going to actually catch out Blitzcrank. Yes, he is. Blitzcrank had actually charged up the Power Fist, but he didn't actually use it. So he died very easily. Yeah, I'm not sure if that would save him anyway. Zezreel was running away, so... With no health. It would be pointless either way. This Draven reminded me of Hozan. I lost my huh. uh, support, but it's okay, I'm gonna get both of you. At least one of you. Mm, very Hosan esque, isn't it? Yeah, very, very, very. Nobody as psycho as that AD carry. Oh, brilliant. I kinda miss that. Your assumption, your assumption on the war mogs on Renekton seems to be very, very much valid as he has bought a giant's belt. You know, when you do, when you spectate and commentate on a lot of games, you kind of tend to notice the pattern <laughs> of what people are building by at least two, uh, two items. So... It's just practice. No huge items done yet. Uh, no huge upgrades. Turrets are still up. Um, Ooh, Nidalee gets hooked, but get a full range spear onto Ezreal. A lot of damage going both ways. Yeah, Nidalee picks up the kill and jumps over the wall. Nope, the jump fails. Blue Crank grabs Shaco. Shaco's going to go down very quickly as well. Nunu does not get much of the channel off there on his no. absolute zip. And he's probably going to go down as well. Yeah, Draven picks up another kill. Will he <coughs> up the third? No, Blitz Crank is going to be able to wander back towards the tower fairly safely. I don't think a dive's going to be able to go down. No, it won't. Then tanking the tour, uh, taking the turret on top, just wrecking it. Mm, the top towers are on approximately the same amount of health. Talon returns to lane with another longsword and ninja tab. Uh, uh, longsword, very indicative of going for a vamp scepter. Yep. As Talon gets suppressed, Talon's just going to flash back towards his tower. May think he wants to go in here. He, he jumps will. onto Renekton. Shadow Assault goes down, a lot of damage going on to Warwick now, Warwick's going to have to walk away very quickly. Warwick will be how Gets caught by the slow from Rake, knocks in Diplomacy and the bleed. And Talon gets a double kill. Oh dear god. Well, turns out what I said went out the window. This assassin is destroying. Renekton? Yes, yes it is. And looks like I am... I'm wrong. He's going for the Cape of Fiery Doom, which my friend corrected was originally named um, Cloak of Fiery Doom, because it's the Sunfire Cape, so it should have been Cloak of Fiery Doom, but I adopted Cape of Fiery Doom, which actually sounds more classier than Cloak. 
cloak. We'll be seeing yeah. some barricades. <laughs> Not sure if Tom will be able to nuke down that top tower before Renekton gets back. Oh, he is dealing quite a bit of damage, so... He's only getting slowed. Stand on Talon on Ooh, top. He's the tower. He's gonna die to the Ignite. Now, oh, I'm fairly sure that Talon wasn't using Oxygen Diplomacy there. I'm not sure if it was if he had no mana or that it, that he was just not aware that Noxian Diplomacy dealt damage to towers. You know, his mana was fine. He, he could have nuked that, that tower down fine had he used Noxian Diplomacy on the tower. The bonus damage effect does apply to towers. Yeah, I do know that because I'm using it. That tower should have been down way faster. Sheko dead in the middle with because of the little spear. Here comes Blitzcrank. Blitzcranky is there as well. Blitzcrank misses the hook. Nunu is still trying to get some consumes down on minions. Warwick taking the blue buff. Middle is pure missed. And bottom, the AD carries are left to their own devices with Ezra lagging two levels behind Draven. And wow, uh, almost 30 CS difference. Or actually close to 30 CS difference. Yeah, Draven's got to be one of the very strong farming AD carries just due to the damage you can get from spinning spinning axe. Also, it, due to the fact it does apply his passive as well. Talon again in trouble as Warwick joins top. He uses his ultimate for defensive purposes this time to run away. Shadow Assault is a very good kind of double-edged ability. You can use it for very strong burst damage and also the stealth component can be very helpful to escape and since he wasn't particularly low you, Warwick could not make use of blood send. Louis Crank, Dragon picks up the kill, Ezreal's two shot barrage did catch three of them but did not manage to land a hit as Shaco was slightly in trouble. Shaco deceives over the wall. Raven a bit of damage. Talon is on low health on top. He is indeed, but I'm not sure what Renekton can actually do about it. His damage isn't particularly high. We'll see. Shaker and Nunu pushing down that middle tower. Warwick's going to come in and defend. bot. The suppress is not going to be used as Ezreal backs out from bottom lane. I'm still in trouble using his ultimate. We'll rush him to Renekton, ignite him, jump him, silence him, forces a flash. We'll miss Raid, but ignite in the end catches it. I feel like Renekton's build choice was just not particularly wise in this circumstance. Had he built for a more damage based early game, then he could have absolutely devoured Talon. Because Talon being an assassin, not very sustainable. If Renekton went back and got Brutalizer before Talon, things would have been different and then Sunfire Cave. That would be, I think, the best course of action. Snowball is flying from Nunu towards Nidalee as War comes up from behind. First threat of the game drops on that top lane. Nunu expertly dodging those chucks. Infinite Dress goes down. Not that much damage actually being dealt, except the spear. One more spear might do it. Nope, Shaco shows up to deny that kill. Not much damage being dealt, but and more than enough to just push them away. This an AP Warwick. Or a hybrid. <laughs> Blue Crank lands with the hook, but Ezreal manages to use his arcane shift to escape before Power Fist sends him flying skyward. Here comes Talon, flashing, trying to mm. get to Not the quite in range for the... Still not quite in range, can he? No, he just decides to fall back, cutthroat, not actually getting into range. Yeah, he just Spear comes across, be. just missing Talon. 18 minutes into the game, 9-9 in kills, so this is a very close game, but it is 800 difference in gold and one turret, all in favor of the red team. Mm. In terms of farm, Talon's 20 odd CS up on Renekton. The junglers are dead level on CS, 50, mm -hmm. 55, well 57 currently. 
Nidalee's 14 up on Nunu, and but the biggest difference in the game so far has to be Draven, currently 43, 44 up on Ezreal. Yes. And those kills as well. 4 zero, zero with an almost full Bloodthirster, I'm guessing. Yeah. Halfway done Bloodthirster. On Draven. And lo and behold, yeah, this you did say this is gonna be an interesting Ezreal build. Haven't seen Lich Bane on AP Ezreal in, in a while since that blue build Ezreal became so popular. Ezreal in trouble as I'm saying it. Crank it down. King. Flashes out just before he gets knocked up by the power fist. He'll be in trouble as Nuno picks up the kill. Talon taking a lot of damage from towers though, he will just about survive. Bottom Ezreal goes down. Release Crank goes down, making the double kill for Nidalee as Ezreal steals or takes with his ignite blue crank. Shaco in trouble, they continue to chase after him. One more spear would do the damage. Of whirling death, but whirling death was used, and Nidal will pull back. Two for two in turrets. Yeah, this shows the true level amount of this game. Literally a hundred gold in it, if that. Mm. So this is a, let's say, normal high elo game for a normal game, because everyone is doing such a nice job at playing. I'm not seeing many noobish mistakes in it, even if it is a blind normal pick. Mm. Fairly common occurrence to see. True. Unless I'm playing, then it's just horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, had to be said. Uh, Nidalee grabs her blue buff, her Seraph's Embrace is completed. Which being done by Ezreal. Yeah, this is the point where an AP Ezreal build come, kind of comes into its own. Remember, Lich Bane is finished. You get so much bonus damage on Arcane, Blue not not Arcane trouble. shot, Mystic shot. He's being chased by Blitzcrank and gets Shaco grabbed. Still a lot of damage going down. Flashes. His mana barrier is on cooldown now, and gets killed by the crit stab from Shaco. Meanwhile, mid lane loses their turret. So blue team is definitely pushing slightly better. Ezreal taking quite a bit of damage from Draven. Rolling that will not be enough as Ezreal walks away. Talon gets caught by Renekton as he's trying to push down the tower. Love damage going down, decides to burn Shadow Assault for the bonus movement speed to get out of there. Renekton still chasing him. While things are heating up on that bottom... Bails the flash, and therefore Talon more than able to make his escape. Blue team started Dragon. Yeah, is there anything that red team can currently do? Blitzcrank very low on health, one spear might be enough. Take up the Misses Blitzcrank and hits Shaco, still enough for a kill though. Shaco walks right into that one, but Nidalee could pick up a double kill and die herself. Draven and Warwick take the dragon. Indranduras goes on Blitzcrank. The chase. Hook misses. Draven picks up the kill and goes for Ezreal. Decides to pull back. Talon going for a very armor pen heavy build. He's already got a last whisper to top his blue brutalizer and a health crystal. Therefore, looking towards most likely a black cleaver as well. Yeah, Talon will walk right into this one. He will blue Crank may be in blue trouble. Crank. And the damage coming out blue from crank. Shadow Assault tears Blue Crank to pieces. Yep, a cranky for a cranky. Mm, mm. That dragon now really showing as mm -hmm. Blue Team are approximately one and a half thousand gold ahead. Warwick is slightly in trouble in his own jungle. Shaco gets hit, hit by Whirling Death, allowing his clone to explode. Fall over Warwick, pick up the kill. So Warwick took the kill. Oh god. I'm, I'm so terrible. I'm so unfocused today. 
I do apologize. Blitz really misses the hook and the silence as Nidalee tries to pounce over the wall but fails. Uh, Two shift poison from Shaco gonna pick up the kill. Yes. Nice kill order in the blue team. Or do, both assassins have the kills while Nidalee and Draven have in the blue team. If Renekton joins them with the kills, with the damage, they will they will be unstoppable. Mm. Renekton does look to be actually investing into the damage front now, picking up a pickaxe. Yeah. Renekton gets caught, not sure if he was the best person Talon to target for that. Well. Shaco stood over there, Talon getting very low indeed, but... Talon should pick that kill up. Only Talon. just survives actually, on about 30 odd health. The call the meek not quite enough in or not quite in range. Talon. Nunu uses his Zonya's hourglass only to get hooked by Blue Crank and then ripped up by Warwick. Blitzcrank gonna try and make his escape. Needle that overcharge is probably going overdrive could probably gonna be enough to allow his escape. Yes it is. Blue Crank trying to chase but not working. This was uh why is he taking unnecessary hits? Trolls. Trolls everywhere. All robots are trolls. Mm. True story. You speak from experience? I wish I did, but unfortunately I don't. Ah, that means you're not a robot. Okay. Talon clearing those minion waves, that huge minion wave with his rake, really, really nicely. He picked up Tiamat. Hmm, I'm very interested by that actually. I wouldn't have thought that a standard item for Talon. It's not. Usually it's not. Usually you are going for that Black Cleaver Trinity Force sort of a build with Bloodthirster on so that you can deal tons of damage and rake everybody. You had to make the joke, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I had to make We're actually taking a lot of damage. I feel like it's probably going to be Talon picking up the kill. The, no, actually, the, the ice handed. blast from Nunu finishes him off. Talon had a snowball's chance in taking that kill. <laughs> that's clever, actually. That's a good one. Thank you. I have them on occasion. Uh, Needle Spear misses. Blitzcrank misses his hook. And Needle is just bouncing back and forth. If that spear lands... Talon coming in. Uh, Thought he might actually try and go in on Nidalee, but he didn't. So, just going to recalling. fall back. Red that team didn't know maybe looking him. like going for a kill here. Talon not taking any chances, uses the Shadow no. Assault to get out of there as Blue Crank shows up. Okay, and Nunu being forced to run very, run as fast as he can as he gets caught by the standard side from Draven. He's taking a lot of damage. Snowballs. Ice Blast does a good amount of slowing, but I'm not sure if he'll survive. No, yeah. that last attack. Just taking the kill before the spear came through to finish him off. Well, Nunu didn't have a Snowball's chance. <laughs> I'm surviving this one. Okay, that joke is starting to outstay its welcome. Yeah, I'll stop now. Don't worry. Excellent. Keiko catching Blue Crank, has joined by Renekton. Nice hook. Pulls him in. Blue Crank goes down. Blue Crank goes down. Infinite Dress cut. Yeah. Infinite Dress catches Ezreal, allowing him to get torn apart. And Warwick pick up the kill. So it is one for two in the end. Yes. One for two. Not a bad exchange with middle turret, inner turret going down. Renekton has also picked up a tier map. Interesting. We are seeing definitely... We are seeing builds that haven't been seen in a while. Yeah, slightly non-standard, I suppose, but yeah. seems to be partic seems to be quite effective on Talon. I've yet to see proof of how effective it may be on Renekton. Nasher stood picked up by Warwick, uh, rubbed on by Nidalee. And what else? Major items have been done. Not many. Uh, Chaco has the static shiv. True. Warwick in trouble on top. Renekton jumping on Talon. Nidalee in trouble near the Baron. 
slow from Rake, just about enough to allow Talon to escape as Nidalee goes down, unable to pounce over the Baron Wall. Draven pushed away from bottom tower as he was trying to push it by Ezreal. Yeah, Draven is definitely higher damage this time around, and he's still two levels above Ezreal, so... When actually gets caught out in top lane and Shaco tries to peek in on Draven. Talon does fall actually to the minions as Renekton also goes down. Blitzcrank lands a hook on Blue Crank, gets knocked airborne, flashes away, and then hooks Nunu under good the good tower. Man. Good use of Zonias, but I'm not sure if it'll be enough. Yeah. It will actually, as Blitzcrank lands the knock up and then falls due to this whirling death come across from Draven. Draven. Not Draven. Draven. Indeed. Still a very close game. Thirty minutes into one kill in it. Yeah. Four two in turrets in favor of the blue team. Uh, forty two thousand gold versus thirty eight thousand gold. Mm, approximately three and a half, maybe. Yeah, three and a half. Gold. Yeah, something like that. Another thing is yeah, slightly settled, Ezreal being in trouble, as just about I said. Do dodges the needle spear. Talon using his ultimate to get close in, but will may Talon going all in on Draven, dealing a lot of damage, but taking a lot of damage in return. He goes down as the true shot barrage narrowly misses Draven's face. Narrowly. And Nidalee heals herself instead of her AD carry. Last. Shaco pushes out bottom tower. Outer turret goes down. But he will get caught as. Here comes Renekton and, Blitz and Blue Crank. Ooh, nice little bit of Jew King, but I'm not sure if he'll be worth anything. Uh, Warwick in trouble. Places box top. down as he does actually escape to safety. I thought he might Warwick fall there. The flash gets ignited, will get killed by uh, Nunu, jumps with ultimate on Ezreal, and Ezreal picks up the kill. Mm. Mystic shots away, followed by. Mystic shots away, wow. Arcane shifts away, follows up with the Mystic shot. And that's enough to finish. Blue team going for the dragon again. Just want to solidify their lead in the gold. Shaker might be able to jump the wall for it. No, he will not. Nidalee claims it with a spear. Okay. As are clearing the minions on top with his true shot barrage and gold leads. Now that things have slightly settled, I'm not even going to attempt to say that they are boring because this game is anything but. Nidalee yes. misses, but Crank hooks. She will be one dead kitty cat. We go towards Blue Crank, Chase. He will be dead as well, picked up by Ezreal. Alright, looking across at the gold, Talon has an approximate thousand gold advantage on yes. Renekton. Renekton's been able to keep up in farm very nicely. Shaco is actually Warwick down approximately two, three hundred on Warwick. Ezreal goes down very quickly in that fight, and so is Blitzcrank. Double kill attained by Renekton. Inner turret picked up by Talon, who is going towards middle or just running away in this case, as they do not want to pick a fight. Renekton is incredibly tanky now, as you said at the start, he did pick up that Warmog's armor. <clears throat> Took his time, sweet time about it, but he did pick it up in the end. And he's currently sat with 3600 health. Not a particularly large amount of damage, but my god, is he going to be hard to kill? Yes. Talon comes across, gets stunned. Not sure if it'll matter. Nope, cut throats to a minion, and he's going to walk away okay. Uh, let's see, junglers are 400 gold difference, Warwick on 8500, 8200 on Shaco, so 300 gold difference there. Middle 10,000 gold on Nidalee, 8200 on uh, Nunu, so that's 1800 gold difference. With the big difference is on the AD carries, Yes, the big I'm difference is it. there. Draven, a good two and a half thousand up on Ezreal. That 806, he is just going to decimate if he can survive through to the late game. Grab a Guardian Angel and he will carry the game. He doesn't even need a Guardian Angel, to be honest. He could go for Randuins and just shut down Talon and um, Ezreal. Shaco as well. Yeah, with it. And that is one of the 
rarely seen um, defensive AD carry items, but it is very effective. It is indeed. As well decides to let Nidalee take a couple of Baron hits by throwing a Mystic Shot over there. Forces an infinite duress from Warwick, Talon walking right into the f tail end of Renekton. Flash four stuff. Shaco caught out. He hasn't got enough mana to make an escape. If he can get caught by a stun or a hook, no, he will escape okay. Hook misses, and Ezreal needs to go back and heal, or at least stay behind uh, Blitzcrank uh, and Moon. Draven gets connect. Yes, we have a disconnect. Needle taking quite a bit of damage, healing it immediately with one. Heal. Primal Surge. Hmm. It's a heal. It is. Well, that's why I have you, because you do know you do know more names of champions' abilities than I do. Yep, Nidalee and Blue Crank sitting in that river brush. Yeah, and the red team doesn't see them because Blue Crank uh, is slacking with warding, but it's all due to the pink wards that the blue team is using. He will get caught as Blue Crank, Draven, Nidalee and Warwick run up to him. But he manages to escape. Yep. Attack the movement speed steroid from Overdrive, more than enough to get him away. Mm. Uh, fight may break out. Nope, red team uh, feel like we don't want to fight this guy, so we're just going to wander home. Yeah. Fairly wise because their main damage threat is very low on health. Ooh, Talon gets caught out, ignited, and actually gets murdered by a Spear. Yes. She drew the line was there. So for him. No, Talon is built on full damage right now and, and with no magic resist at all. So, Nidalee Spears are going to be very effective. Blue Crank gets taken down and there's a lot of damage going around. Shaco dies to Draven. Kill, triple kill to Draven. Could it be a Quadra? Not likely. Mm, I feel they're just going to go for the tower. If Ezreal well provides an opportunity though, he will die very quickly. True. But triple kill Draven with inhibitor turret and inhibitor itself dead. They could actually go for the Nexus turrets as well. They have the I, I, this is, the I would say this is game here. It's 15 seconds until yeah. Talon's back up and there's no way in hell Ezreal's going to be able to hold the tower on his own. Mm. The four members of the blue team are quite low. They are. They seem to be very in, uh, being very indecisive there and their indecision actually causes Nidalee to die. Mystic shot dealing a lot of damage. If they just in ignored fact, him and attacked him or if... Um, Infinite Duras just came back, but if it was up, they could have taken Ezreal and the Nexus. Mm. Talon back up, looking for blood. Mm. Threshold Barrage goes off, will miss everything to eclipse Warwick. Dragon is back up, as it's pinged by the red team. They really want to try and get this. It's pretty acceptable due to the, th the nigh on 7,000 gold lead now currently being held by the blue team. Draven 11, 0, and 6. Very well played by him in this game. Yeah, he's sitting on 4,430 gold, so he can literally buy anything that he wants. GA, Vormogs, or Randoins, and he goes for Infinity Edge. Well, I, very much appropriate to say that Draven does it all with style. Yes, he does. And this is the League of Draven. It is the League of Draven. It is. He's the MVP of this match. Mm, definitely. The only champion to have not died at all. Also, his CS very high. Just in general, better positioning, uh, he is giving kills to other members of his team, so it's not that he's hoarding them, so he's the highest damage dealer, but not the only damage dealer mm. of the team. A lot, uh, of killies ha a lot of kills have gone to Nidalee, which means that with her spears, she's dealing a lot of damage. 
very high poke damage indeed. Ezreal gets caught off, he will go down to the spear. The rest of the red team is pulling back while the blue team goes for that nexus. They have an opening. Ezreal is They are going to rush right through this. If Draven can get up there, that's going to be a very. Oh, the game's going to be very much over. And yes, it is. Renekton okay, gets hooked, but so. Draven is going to show up and take down the nexus in very short order. Very interesting 40 minutes, I have to say. Mm, GG, well played. 